Hey everybody, it's uh, Brandon here. I'm just going to go over a couple of things with the TIA portal, uh, Total Integrated Automation Portal with uh, Siemens. So right now I have uh, the 990 PS712 controller uh, connected via ethernet through my switch on our Allen Bradley trainer. I have all my IP settings and everything correctly configured to connect with uh, both right now. This project, I've already changed the IP address uh, to 120, or I'm sorry, 192.168.1.29. So that's the device IP address and the uh, settings on the computer itself is set to 129 or 192.168.1.20. So our adapter settings are at the correct range that we need to be able to connect to this controller. So all I did was open up project eight at this point. I haven't gone online or anything. And I just went ahead and added the tag um, uh, input 04, which is SS1 on the trainer. And then also added uh, output or Q 0, 0.0, which is represented on the outputs DO0 light on the controller itself. So right now, if you push, uh, or if you switch over um, SS1 right now, it's not working because it hasn't been downloaded to the controller yet. You can't see the, the PLC trainer, but I'm looking at it right now and moving SS1. So what, what we have to do is we actually have to uh, go online with the controller itself. So we'll actually have to download this program to it. And all I did was I opened up the project I'm just going to verify a few things. I'm going to go to the general tab that opened correctly, represented by the check mark here. I'm going to go to program blocks, OB1, which is where I'm at here right now. And I'm going to need to go online with this controller. So if I hit the go online button, it again, this computer is slow as a turtle, so I apologize. So now that I've hit the go online line button, it's still processing. And right now, congratulations, you've connected to PLC1 address 192.168.1.29, uh, just like I said earlier. So now I'm connected. So now if I go ahead and hit the switch on the trainer, it's still doing nothing at this point. The reason why is because I haven't downloaded the changes to the network here. So I'm actually going to delete uh, network block two because we don't need that in here. And then what I need to do now is I need to download to the device. So that means, remember in PLCs, it's backwards. Uploading is up pulling a program from the PLC. Downloading is downloading a program to the PLC. So it's the opposite of what it sounds like. So what I'm gonna do, is, since I'm already clicked on OB1, I'm gonna hit the download to device and it's compiling. Do you wanna overwrite the main OB1 block? Yes, I do. So, now I have overwritten it. If I hit SS1, it is still doing nothing at this point. So what you need to do, what I need to do here at the very least is I need to go ahead and compile these changes that I've made. So I just compiled, there's no errors. Then I'm gonna go back over here, download to the device. Do you wanna download? I'm gonna hit yes. And for some reason on the trainer, it is still not wanting to fire. So what we need to do now is you can see that Q00 and D01, I'm gonna to go to device and networks over here. So we have our S71 and then we have our controller. We have a Profinet interface, port one is active. So what I'm gonna do here is go to I'm gonna to go to the network layout of project eight. And I think I figured out what the problem is. Sorry, I'm a little rusty with Siemens PLCs, but if I go back to my program blocks and go back to OB1, you can see I'll open up the network and the OB1 block here. So we want this to turn this on. Now I said it's not working, which it is not. That's because I haven't started the CPU yet. So you actually have to start the CPU in run mode. And now our green check mark is lit up. So now I'm running the switch and the output is turning on. Uh, the live changes aren't showing, but if you look on the controller itself, which you can't see, 
it is the SS1 is turning on DO0. So again, from the start, when you open up project eight and you download to it, then you need to go into, sorry, I had to take a step away for a phone call. But anyway, when you open up project eight, you do need to go online with the controller. Um, so once you go online, you'll just do the go online button. It'll tell you that you have successfully gone online like we did in the beginning. And then you'll need to download the changes, which are what, what I did here with SS1 and D00 in the first network block of main. So you'll just either go here to download changes. I like to compile first because it verifies your changes and make sure nothing's blank for larger programs. Then you download the changes to the controller and then you hit the start CPU button. And then you can reach over here and turn on SS1. And when you do that, it's going to turn on uh, digital output zero. So I uh, hope this was a brief but effective explanation of how to open this up. Again, this is a pre-built project I did. The next video I make will be uh, from start to finish, like opening up a new project, downloading a brand new build and a brand new program, and it'll be longer. This is just something I wanted to get recorded after I had successfully completed a download and the IP address reassignment. So just a quick overview. Hope this information is helpful. Hope you all have a good day. Thanks.